Hello, and welcome to today's lesson on the refraction of sound waves. In today's lesson, we will first understand what the refraction of sound waves is. Next, we will learn how temperature gradients influence sound waves during the day and night, and highlight how this impacts sound clarity and travel distance. So far, we have discussed reflection and how to construct ray diagrams for it. You are also familiar with absorption and transmission of waves, as well as the nature of sound waves. Building on this prior knowledge, we can now introduce the concept of refraction. This understanding will advance our comprehension of how sound waves interact with different media, further enriching our grasp of physical principles. Let's get started. Refraction is the bending of waves when they pass from one medium into another medium with a different density or temperature. In terms of sound waves, a typical example of refraction occurs when sound waves travel through air layers of different temperatures. Sound waves travel faster in warmer air and slower in cooler air. This is because in warmer air, molecules have more energy and move more quickly. This increased kinetic energy allows them to collide with one another more often and transmit sound waves more efficiently. During the day, the sun heats the ground, which in turn warms the air close to the surface. This creates a situation where the air near the ground is warmer than the air higher up. Since sound waves travel faster in warmer air and slower in cooler air, a sound wave moving upward from the warm ground air into the cooler upper air will slow down. When one part of the wavefront slows down more than the other part, the wave bends. In this case, the sound wave bends upwards away from the ground. Think of it like a, a car turning. If the wheels on one side slow down more than the wheels on the other side, the car will turn. Similarly, the change in speed causes the sound wave to turn or bend upwards. This upward bending means that the sound waves spread out and do not travel as far close to the ground, making sounds less clear at a distance. This is why sounds seem muffled and don't travel as far during the day. At night, the ground cools down. The air near the surface becomes cooler, while the air higher up remains relatively warmer. This sets up the opposite temperature gradient to what occurs during the day. As sound waves travel from the cooler air near the ground to the warmer air above, they speed up. Due to this increase in speed, the sound waves bend downwards towards the ground. This bending keeps the sound waves closer to the surface, allowing them to travel further and remain more concentrated. Because the sound waves stay focused near the ground, sounds can be heard more clearly and from greater distances at night. By understanding this concept of refraction, we can better grasp how environmental factors influence sound transmission and why we experience differences in sound clarity at different times of the day. In today's lesson, we explored the concept of refraction and how sound waves behave differently when passing through air layers of varying temperatures. We examined how sound waves bend upwards during the day, causing muffled sounds, and how at night, refraction bends sound waves downward, allowing clearer sounds to travel further. Understanding refraction helps explain why environmental conditions can influence how we perceive sound in various situations. Watch the rest of the GCSE physics course at Sophos Education.